opportunity in working with people with dementia is that everybody in the room has the opportunity to drop out of so much of the, of the thinking cognitive mind into the heart space. And I had some of the most moving experiences with this woman that I have ever had in my life in terms of being able to connect with someone without words. I would come and she would she would recognize me. She know she know she she knew she knew me. She didn't necessarily know who I was or what I was there for, but she knew me. And she would light up and say hi every time I would walk in and I would go and see her about once a week. And I played my flute for her and she loved it a lot. And sometimes she would just sit in her chair and I would sit on the floor in front of her and she would just And in those moments, she had an opportunity to give because I was willing to be the one who received. And that's what I want to tell you today. That in everything that you do with this kind of volunteering, with being present to help someone, just please don't forget to be open to receiving. Because I really believe that there is a reciprocal nature in the universe that's going on all of the time. That anytime there is giving happening, there is also receiving happening. And it is never one without the other. One of the reasons that I, I think it's so important to stay open to receiving is because if I'm only there to help, I will miss what's actually going on in the room, which gives me the opportunity to go further with someone. So that in being the ones who have agreed to help, I think it's so important to also learn to just stay present. My, my thing often, if I get too much in going out to help, I have too much of an agenda. And so then as soon as we kind of stray off of the agenda, then it's like, well, wait a minute, we have to come back over here when what I really need to do is follow where, the, where it's going. 